crap, we're gonna have to make a run for it. I feel so guilty, you guys. Oh no! Ah! It's Sophie's dream to take the horses in the woods. Ew, come on! Sophie! <laughs> it's fine! Sophie. Sophie was left alone with the dead body. She's traumatized, end of story. Sam's dream tractor, you guys. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to today's video. It is new hay bale day, and I know for most of you guys, that's not a big deal, but for us, it is. For the whole first four and a half years of our horse journey, we did whatever our coaches and our trainers told us to do, how we, we were taught. But now we're doing it our own way. We've been able to see all the things that we agree with and things that have worked with us for us. And then we've been able to see things that haven't worked for us. And we've been able to tweak their amazing guidance into making things work good for us. Wow. Do you want to do it? Uh, okay. <laughs> she's like, that wasn't there before. <laughs> oh, she's looking chunky. All right. Yeah, go ahead. And then we'll put the the net on it oh and he got a pallet underneath to keep it up off the ground good job you got it I'm sorry I was still getting ready I didn't realize he was here <laughs> Sylvia are you having trouble it keeps ripping my finger cut it do you have scissors now, I really get what that's a girl to talking about and I just want to tell her how I feel screaming out loud have you ever been in love have you ever lost your head? Have you felt like you were out of breath when you saw her in that dress? Storm's like, come on, it's taking you guys forever. Wow. Yeah, it definitely looks bigger than last time. Oh, it's on a skid. Didn't yeah, that's why. I put a skid there. All right, there you go. Now just close it. Yeah, just push it down. Get something. <laughs> I'm going to fix this though. So this is going to be a gate here. He just hasn't done it yet. I need to fix it. Oh, but Sam, come on man looking good <laughs> it's so cold today tomorrow that blanket comes off all right there it is it's ready for them i, I don't know it makes me happy to see it i get excited about it got through them hay this morning too. yeah we threw a bunch of hay in there this morning but whoops oh he put it in that water trough yeah, i put some in there and then i moved it there because i had some skid in here so our plan is to have hay other places as well so that if storm doesn't let any get out of that you dumbo um yeah so like i see gracie gets pushed off a lot even though it's weird because gracie loves him the best and in the summer i was like oh this shelter is going to be way too hot for chino we have to make sure he can get in out of the sun because the sun just comes here in the morning and just heats this up now that it's freezing cold today I'm like, oh, this is Are so glorious. Down there? You know when it's so cold, your nose runs? It was a minus three today Celsius, which is, I don't know, it's below freezing. You Whatever it is in Fahrenheit, it's noise. below freezing. And then tomorrow, he really wants to be with the chickens. And then tomorrow, we get summer. Tomorrow, summer arrives. She wants <laughs> to be with the chickens, Mom. We have a whole plan for spring for them. We're going to hatch another couple of, yeah, we're going to do <laughs> ducks and geese. I'm hatching uh, the kind of goose that I had first because it's easy to tell if they're a boy or a girl. It's not. It takes a long time still. So, I like She likes ducks. those Chinese ducks. Geese. Yeah, so the problem with ducks and geese is that geese will separate themselves and not stay with the ducks and protect them if they have their own really? other geese to keep them company. But want, like, 50 geese. if you hatch the geese out and they're raised with ducks, you have a higher chance of them all staying together. So that's our plan. It looks good. I, I'm really proud of us. We've like accomplished more as farmers at this barn than ever before. Like Sam got a harrow the other day and, and we're going to finally get to harrow the fields. Yeah. You can do it tomorrow because it's going to be so hot. Yeah, as long as they don't have too many plans that people like to make. For yeah, them. yeah. <laughs> as long as we have no plans. <laughs> We're still waiting for Sophie's lesson. And Sophie's lessons is, aren't scheduled. They're like a, whenever we can swing it, whenever the coach can swing it and we can get there because we have to drive in. 
So like if it's rainy. Oh, Christmas came early on the day by day farm. A car went into the shop today and apparently it really needed fixing. What's wrong with it? Uh, it needs all new spark plugs. Um, back brake is seized. Wow, good thing we took it in. Yeah, that's because we don't use it. That's oh, great. well, I could use it. I love my van. Show them what you so ordered. I ordered these for um, Penny and Storm. Storm stall, but Sophie said I should get like three more for the other horses and put it in the arena part. And yeah, like, so yeah, the. Maybe I should. So these are supposed to be like. So you hang it up. You hang it up in the stall. They're hay nets for the stall, right? And then they open up so you can put hay in it. And, and then they then close they, up. Yeah, and they close up. So you just flip it open, throw the hay in. Now, like we resisted hay nets for the longest time and now suddenly we moved to a new farm and poof, we're all, all about hay nets. Storm wastes hay, so that's why. Yeah, they all waste hay, so it's better to do this. And the biggest thing, do you know what the biggest reason that you use them for? It's not because they, like, they waste it, not on purpose. They want to eat that hay. But this keeps them eating all night long. So it may, makes their hay last and it keeps their tummy happy so they don't get ulcers. So it doesn't waste hay and it's good for the horse. So that's what we're doing. You guys, this is my favorite thing. Let's go hang out with them. Let's go hang out with them. Just like, do you guys see? Hi, buddy. Oh, it's warm in the sun. Nice and warm. You too hot? And a blanket will come off tonight for sure. Yeah, to, well, tomorrow morning. Well, actually, it's supposed to get really hot this afternoon. How to see if your horse trusts you. Yeah. How to see if your horse trusts you. I love horses laying down. They look like babies. Because there's hay on the ground. And my horse is over there watching. She's all jealous. <laughs> it's cold. Like today's the coldest day we've had. Oh, and I just want to tell her how I feel. Scream it out loud. Have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? Have you felt like you were out of breath when you saw her in that dress? When your heart is beating fast and you're sweating, you can't stop looking at her smile. Then you've been in love. That's how you know you've been in love. So this is why Sam spends so much time in the barn. Did he see him rocking out? Crazy driver. Allie, leave them. So I've been leaving Ellie in the house a lot more because she's been trying to run to the she's road. She's not happy about that though. No, she's not happy about it. These are the horses we're taking. Both the Palominos. So the other day I was standing next to Honey and I thought it was Gracie. Because she's getting so dark. She's actually... Can you do that up for me? Oh, it smells so fresh. This hay bale smells amazing. I knew you would come as soon as we took away his girls. All right, let's see what you did. Uh, is that the first one? No. Oh, I love it. So there's her water. Two water. Yeah. It's big. <laughs> That's kind of satisfying seeing all that hay fly. That's, hay is not as green as it normally is. All right, there we go. Uh, is Hen that is Penny's hay bag for the night. There's Stormy's. Storm needs more hay than Penny. Looks good. She is officially getting fluffy again. I miss that baby fur that we shaved off her in the summer. Somehow inherited this hook here. I took over it, and that's where I put my bag all the time. Sophie puts hers there. You are looking filthy. So it's going to be mine and Gracie's really first time hanging out together and bonding together. We have all day to go on this trail, so don't keep it. I want to go down into the woods. You want to go down into the woods? Gracie can fit. All right, let's do it. I actually brushed everywhere. <laughs> Horse brushes are not that good. You need a vacuum. 
because I use my curry comb, I use my gloves, and then I use the hard brush to like whisk it all away. And that's what happened. Let's go. Everybody out. Oh, okay, so you're leaving? Leave at 1.30, go check on the van. I got pick something up. Okay, all right, we'll see you later. Hopefully we'll be back. Come on, Molly! We're taking Molly and Ellie. Molly. Run for it, the horses are right there. I feel so guilty, you guys. I feel so guilty. They're just running. Uh-oh, are you running? Oh no! Ah! Holy crap! That was scary! I forgot that! My camera! <laughs> Selfie, stop! While I'm in the middle of them! Alright, well, I feel guilty! <laughs> oh my god! Oh. Ellie, stay away! Horses suck. Can we go through the gate? Quickly go through the gate? Yeah, because me and this. Did you see that though? I heard them. <laughs> I heard them too. Oh my gosh. You can't leave the farm without the horses. Oh, she's mad. I'm sorry, Pen. I gotta do. I, oh, she's mad. I'll be back. We'll take you too. Do we have the dogs? Yeah. Okay, go. Yesterday, when we had friends over, we were in the goat barn, and they just got here. We had just got here, they had just got here, and we were in the goat barn. And we look up, and every single one of our horses is standing at the fence. <laughs> and they're, they're just staring, all their ears perked forward, and they're all lined up in a beautiful little row across the fence line, staring at our friends. <laughs> so, I don't know, I feel like our horses definitely notice a lot on the property. The horses are all freaking out. I can hear Penny squealing. Gracie's actually doing really good, she's manageable. Wait. And I have her on the left, on my, with my left hand. Whoa. She looks so cute! Good girl! Ellie! You get over here, you little running girl. Look at her go. Whoa. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Good girl. When the horses figured out that we were leaving, <laughs> they all came galloping up behind me and I could hear them galloping. It was like that deer caught in the headlights feeling. I couldn't see them, I didn't know where I should go, so I started going to the right, and they were to the right. <laughs> and I just froze, looked behind me and prayed that they were gonna stop. It's Sophie's dream to take the horses in the woods. So we've been exploring the woods behind our house a few times. Are you going to be able to make it up and down that with a horse? Probably. Ellie, get over here. Hey, come here. Molly. I'm like 54. Sophie, you think oh, I can't do it if you can do it? I'll just put my camera away. I have to put you guys away for this. I did it. We did it. No problems. But when, are you like me? When someone says, do you think you can do it? All of a sudden, you're scared where you weren't scared before. Yeah, like, that's not cool. Come on, Gracie. I don't know. How did we get to that field? It's so cozy in here. Ellie, get over here. You see a dead animal carcass? Well, that thing. What? Yeah, I let's smell it. Ew, get out of that! Come on, let's go back. What? Quick. Oh my no. god, it's a raccoon. Yes. <laughs> Ew. Ew, come on. Sophie. It's fine. I'm not ready to fight a coyote. <laughs> I'm not either. And then just like that, our visit to the woods gets 
not happy. I hear the coyotes at night now. Oh my god. Get the frick out of here. <laughs> Come on, Ellie. Coyotes. That was gross. They like ate the meat on that down to the bones. No, it was like the side of meat. Yeah, it was. Okay. Can I hurry up here? <laughs> Sophie, it's fine. Before she's like, come on, Ellie. Before she's like, are you gonna be okay? Do you think you can do it? Okay, when you go down, stop her there. Go slow. <laughs> she's like, stop halfway up the hill. Like, no, I'm not going back. Sophie sees one dead carcass and poof. <laughs> it's all over. Okay, I think ahead. that was a raccoon. Sorry, you fight coyotes. It makes me nervous because literally at night now, I wake up and I hear them hunting the raccoon or the coyotes. But I feel good that they're like safe in our barns. <laughs> Wait. So if it's like, all right, let's go this way. But if we see one more dead animal carcass, I'm out of here. Oh, I'm tired. Especially trying to drag this thing up the hill. That was gross. I was waiting for the dogs to roll in it. All the way down. Myself? What if a coyote jumps out? <laughs> No coyotes in the day. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. Sophie wants to go up the hill, but I'm running out of energy, so. You just walked this whole time. I've been <laughs> I know, but I used to run too. I'll let them have a little bit of grass for a treat. That's why they probably love coming. You know, at our old farm, when we go on little trail rides around the property, they could see each other. That's dog poop. No. <laughs> Coyote, coyote poop, poop looks like. So he's like, look at that. That's coyote poop. I swear that's dog poop. No. <laughs> Anyways. Come on, Gracie. Anyway, we go. They could see their friends. And they would hate, they hate, they didn't love that. Like they did not love going, especially Penny, hated going around that little property with me. She doesn't want but now, that we're back, she's gonna refuse. I know. At this farm, though, every single horse wants to go through those gates, and it's not just to eat because we ride them, and hey, you love it. Like Penny has never offered a single bad ride at this barn, not once. It's like suddenly, she's this been there, done that, steady Eddie, amazing horse. We've never seen evidence of coyotes at our old house at all. Like we could hear them in the distance. Like we could hear them far away, but at this house, they're like right outside. Well, there's evidence. Yep, now there's evidence. Horses are still there. <laughs> they're waiting for us. We can't sneak in now. Penny saw the flag when we were leaving and she was like, oh God. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, but you went last time. There, does that make it all better? <laughs> Sophie's like, Will's on the Sophie's like, just walk on the side because I have faith in Storm. He's gonna, he's gonna gallop. They're like, I don't understand. What about our turn? <laughs> we gotta take that blanket off Storm now. Wow, impressive. You got it. You know, it's stuck in the ground. How? It's all twisted. Yeah. I think I did that. It's hard to get it out. Yeah, good job. So he bought this thing so that he could pull it out. And it worked. We went into We like, went for, okay, so you know how I'm always trying to think of, you know how I'm always trying to think of a title for our video? So I try and think of it during the day. So I, my title went from, I feel so guilty for not taking Penny, to suddenly that was terrifying when Storm and Penny chased us down the path because they wanted to go, to we found a dead body in the woods. We yeah, did. There was a dead animal. I filmed it. Like oh, yeah. the coyotes ate oh, it. No, it, it was, was a raccoon, but they ate it down to the ribs. Like it was probably last night's meal. So we were fresh. To run home. So then Sophie freaked out. It was a cat. No. <gasps> Where's our cat? Yeah. Our cat's not like gray. He's white. Oh. So yeah. we were trying to run back. She made it up the hill because she was first. <laughs> And Sophie, and Sophie was left alone with the dead body. She's traumatized. End yeah. of story. Don't you know that you're